there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Today's wine, uh, Foz, not Fozzy Bear, but F apostrophe Oz. Uh, Foz means estuary, and uh, it's a tribute to the rivers that run through the most prestigious wine regions of Portugal. I think there's Foz in a number of areas. Um, it's, it's a brand that's done by uh, the, um, the Falua organisation, who uh, the guy behind them is a guy called Joao Portugal Ramos, and uh, I think they also make the Tagus Creek wines. Uh, and uh, so, th but this is their wine from Dal. Uh, sorry, I, I see if I can get the pronunciation right. Dal, how's that? Uh, 2012, uh, and Blem Turiga Nacional, Alfacero. Uh, Alfacero is almost like a white peppery character. Uh, a Jaén. Uh, Jaén um, is uh, the Mencia that they have in, in Bierzo in Spain. And uh, I always think of uh, Jaén as being Cabernet Franc for leafy perfume meets syrup for slightly spicier berry. Let's give it a whirl. There's a dark, supple earthiness about this. I stick my nose in there and it feels like one of those wines, and it's rather like a lot of wines in Dow, and it's rather like a lot of the people in Dow. Um, they, um, uh, when you meet them for the first time, they're a bit, and then over the course of time, they blossom. So one of those wines I want to sort of sit and keep doing this for, uh, for quite a while, and uh, so I will do, and I'll, uh, I'll be back in a moment. See, I'm back now, and uh, more of these plummy um, rose hip characters coming out. So there's a spicy edge, uh, there's the rose hips, there's the plums, there's the berries, and uh, but there's still this uh, earthy undercurrent. And that floral rose hip character keeps on through as you, if you taste it. And the plums as well. And it's, the, and it's the plums and the plums and the rose hip rather than the berries that are uh, pushing their way to the front at the moment. And there is a spice there. There's this earthy character, and um, there's a juiciness about it. And uh, they've they've handled the tannins really nicely. Sometimes uh, Dow can uh, young Dow can just be a little bit um, uh, crude in its tannins, but uh, they've they've done a really good job here in um, in taming them, but not suppressing them totally. And um, Good wine now, and I think uh, I would be. I think you'd be agreeably surprised by what that would look like in two or three years' time. And at eight quid a bottle, uh, you can probably afford to stash a few away just in case I'm wrong. Hey, see you soon.